Home safety hotline continues. I believe now we're entering Saturday because our supervisor did say we needed to work on the weekend because of a short staff. Uh, so we're continuing on. Uh, some people did mention last time that my uh, wallpaper seems to have changed. We have a little friend there. It's a little desktop friend. You know, like your, your bonsai buddy or your whatnot. It's probably what that is. A little desktop friend. Uh, but before we clock in, we, of course, have our mailbox to look at. Check out some new emails. Oh, Mike3 Mike 3's uh, email address is no longer active. I'm receiving this email because I have been emailed by this address before. No longer employed as a 430-1996 address will be shut down. Okay, so Mike was uh, was accessing his work email. I guess, uh, you know, I, the IT department neglected to uh, take this down when they fired Mike, so he was still able to access it. I guess we won't be seeing uh, emails from Mike anymore, unless he unless he's, like makes a Yahoo account or something. I guess we'll see. And my daily coupon, because even though I was not perfect last time, uh, we did do well enough to get a coupon for Hag Hide. Let's see. Sourced cruelty-free from the perished and treated with our flower-scented formula. These are the best quality Hag Hides you'll find. This month only, we'll even throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep my bed the safe haven it should be. Sleep easier. Sleep safer. Haggling for deals. There's some pretty good, pretty good uh, discount codes, I think. All right, pretty good deal. 944 to 778. Well, that's expensive. I guess uh, Hag Hide must be fairly rare. I'm also happy that they're throwing in the iron wall mount, because as we know, iron, make, having something that's made of iron, and you know it's made of iron, is something that could be helpful from time to time. All right. I also noticed that there is a new video file on our desktop. They're not supposed to be here. IT problems, but uh, might as well watch it. It's Thunder Peak. Ah, uh, Great American Hikes.
Mm. I wonder if they could maybe build an alternate path that doesn't go through the quiet zone. Maybe that's prohibitively expensive. They, they did say Thunder Peak is very difficult to actually climb. So uh, maybe the maybe the quiet zone's the only way. Well, I'm not much of a hiker myself, but I mean we know that they can it can be very dangerous. Not just Thunder Peak, but uh, but many hiking trails, many natural sites that uh, that tourists are attracted to. Many deaths at places like that every year. It's surprising that when you look at um, like a mountain hiking path or maybe like a waterfall that people will will go to. A little tourist attraction. It's amazing when you uh, when you read about how many people die at those sites every year. You don't really think about it that way. That's not even including the quiet zone. All right, everybody's working for the weekend, or at least we are. I assume we're going to get uh, contacted by Carol. Maybe we'll get more... Uh, maybe we'll get these remaining entries accessible. Hello? Here we go. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Oh. I have to prepare my body for something. Uh, I don't believe this was mentioned in the job description. Do I, do I get instructions on the proper preparations for my body? I don't think I have anything here. That wasn't in the orientation packet. Okay, new entries like autumn vines. Autumn vines are vines with orange or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house. For Hello? Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there, because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me, what to do to get rid of this thing? Because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. All right, well, we can probably assume that's the wine sprite, but... I do want to go over all the new entries before we before we answer. Uh, let's see. The okay, autumn vines release pheromones. They're not toxic. They can also cause household accidents thanks to blissful dizzying effects. To remove the autumn vines, locate where the initial growth is coming from by inspecting the soil around the home for an extended red parent vine. Pull this vine up by the roots and burn it. Prevent autumn vine growth by making regular offerings of insects or meat substance to the ones beneath the soil. All right, this one doesn't seem too bad. Like, you can solve the problem. What does it sound like? Now, usually vines don't really make a sound, but these do. Okay, what about the bed hag? Bed hags are large humanoid creatures with an elderly, woman-like appearance. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatus. Homeowners infested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night, or the feeling of a heavy weight on their chest at night. Danger? Bed hags are not dangerous to most healthy human adults, but small children and humans suffering from breathing problems such as asthma may be adversely affected by their presence. Bed hags are known to steal the breath of their sleeping subjects at night, causing a shortness of breath and sometimes sleep paralysis. Bed hags can in fact be beneficial to a home, as their presence can frighten off other pests such as various insects or mice. In the cases where a bed hag is undesirable, it is, it is advised to utilize HSH's pest removal services. I mean, if they were friendly. Some of us want companionship. What about Dorcha? Dorcha is the one who delivers. Delivers. Homeowners experiencing Dorcha 
commonly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of a great lurking shadow. Dorcha will deliver that which it seeks. There's no coming back from deliverance. Dorcha is otherwise harmless to humans. It does not seek. To be sought by Dorcha is to be found by Dorcha. If you or a loved one are sought by Dorcha, it is advised to grieve and find peace through acceptance. It's a little vague. And just to feel like you feel immense dread. I mean, everyone feels that. I feel like we don't get too much information here. What about a leprechaun? Hey, leprechauns are friendly, right? That. See, look at it. Look at a cute little guy. Did it say something? Couldn't make it out. Small humanoids covered in long brown hair that are known for consuming common household valuables. So did you, do they? Jewelry, silverware, precious metal. I, I actually don't think I've ever heard that leprechauns uh, eat that stuff. Uh, Leprechaun's appetite for precious metals can also cause long-term damage to heaters, furnaces, and other common appliances if they're not properly protected. Additionally, leprechauns can occasionally cause direct harm to humans in cases where homeowners have metallic medical implants such as braces, crowns, or joint replacements. They'll move on to other feeding grounds on their own once they run out of food, but more proactive means of removal require physical capture. If immediate removal is desired, utilize professional help with pest control services. The only thing I ever really heard about leprechauns was the, the pot of gold thing and, and the rainbow. I, have, I didn't hear about, uh, about this part of it. I mean, that's, well, that's why we need this catalog. That's why we need this, so we can learn this valuable information. Neighbor's doorway. It's a door frame-like structure that can appear in basements or cellars. They're known to cause confusion if stepped through as well as parallelism. Parallelism. They don't cause direct harm to humans, but if stepped through, the resulting parallelism will result in unwanted household activities such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in the human who comes through the other side. I do like the way they, they describe that. Not, the, not you coming out the other side, but the human who comes out the other side, implying that it's a different person. They're tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel activity. Utilize doorway removal services. Uh, you can practice mindfulness and not let one's mind wander towards wishing for all... Okay, so you cause this. If you're unsatisfied with your life and you wish for alternate life paths, you, you might manifest one of these things. I mean, hey, you get what you wanted, right? You get what you wanted. What about Puka? It, it, Puka's adorable! Pukas are shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit homes in the shape and likeness of a household pet. They're known for their tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners with pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behavior. They're relatively harmless to humans, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave behind over time can create other pests and disease hazards within the home. A foul smell signifies decay, and the discarded body should be found and removed immediately. Pukas can be encouraged to leave a home by not drawing attention to their activities. Pukas thrive on the attention they receive from frightened homeowners, so refrain from screaming or yelling when surprised by them. Make attempts to ignore their presence whenever possible. Okay, so a puka will kill your pet, and then take the form of your pet, and then act weird, hoping to surprise you. You just ignore them, they'll eventually go away. Make sure you find the corpse of your dead pet. Okay. 
Reanimation. Reanimations are any deceased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with reanimations commonly report foul smells, soil being tracked inside the home, and large holes in the ground appearing near or around the home. They're capable of spreading a wide variety of dangerous diseases and parasites deadly to humans, so co close proximity or contact should be avoided at all costs. They're commonly used to inflict direct violence against homeowners and are incredibly adept at hiding and waiting for vulnerable moments. Reanimation's pursuit is slow but relentless. Relocation is not necessary or advisable. It is advised to contact any friends, neighbors, or strangers the homeowner may have recently slighted and to make peace or bargain. Okay, so the the reanimation, someone is sending it after you. You gotta fi you gotta figure out who and try to make amends. Okay, the Spriggan. We learned about the, uh, the sprig tree and vines previously, but not the sprig in itself. Spriggans are small green humanoids with leaf-like coatings on their bodies. They're rarely seen in households and primarily reside with inside trees. We're looking at this picture back here. There's a... I mean, we can see there's trees in the back. I'm not really seeing the humanoid, but I guess that's the point. They act violently upon homeowners when provoked. Homeowners affected by spriggans commonly report rapid vine growth in and around your homes, the feeling that the trees are watching them. Spriggans are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked, and physical contact with one will result in the growth of a sprig tree within the affected individual. Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked. However, one can take precautions to prevent provoking a spriggan. Refrain from removing trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. Even weeds? Okay. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within view of your home. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may... Do... Grow... You can grow vegetables, but do not eat them. Consider making offers of water each night left in a clean dish on your porch. Okay, so I guess this does confirm... In the real estate video, we did see a house with a bunch of vines on it, which was going for ten thousand. I guess that they've got they've got a spriggan. Seems seems so. Okay, only two more. There's the troll. Yeah, that's a, that's a troll right there. Trolls are giant, 12-foot-tall nocturnal creatures that are normally not seen in the... Well, yes, you... It'd be unusual for a 12-foot-tall monster to be in your home. You probably would not... That probably would not be the case. It would be hard for it to get around. However, during the winter, they will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing. Homeowners infested with a troll will report missing clothes, claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. They're very dangerous to humans when they're startled, thanks to their ability to inflate their bodies to uh, their full height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds. Their skin, despite its flexibility, is incredibly durable and will smash through the ceilings of most homes when fully inflated, causing property damage and injury to anyone in the vicinity. Do not ever approach a troll. An active troll will leave by morning once it's secured its bounty. It's recommended to install repelling fixtures such as UV lights to prevent future break-ins. Okay, so despite um, how menacing a troll might be, it, it will leave just after one night. So I guess it's actually not that big of a problem. What about the, and our final one, the Warlock Remnant? What about that? Warlock remnants are residual are a residual presence often left behind by former warlocks, most commonly inhabiting older household castles or underground dwellings. Homeowners experiencing warlock remnants often report objects moving on their own, the sound of hostile warning whispers, or sighting bearded figures in reflective surfaces. I was about to say, it's that one guy from Alone in the Dark, the new nightmare, was in the mirror. 
Warlock remnants, while a hostile presence, are mere echoes of their former selves and are generally harmless. Their ability to manipulate small household objects can prove hazardous to less caution, cautious homeowners, however. Homeowners can purge the remnant from their home with the use of a Sealy Stone, but the journey to retrieve one is both long and perilous and not recommended. If a Warlock remnant proves sufficiently hazardous or inconvenient, it's highly recommended for homeowners to simply relocate. That is the answer for a few of these things. Just move out of your house. All right, that's the entire catalog filled in. Now, Brittany's been on hold for a while. Uh, Brittany says, animal in the cellar, hear it flapping, it's gotten into the wine. So, sounds like a wine sprite. <clears throat> Let's see. They drink wine, broken glasses, she found broken bottles on the floor. I mean, it's gotta be that. It's got to be Wine Sprite. All right, let's answer that. And now we have seen every entry in the catalog, and now we are fully informed and ready to truly be able to inform the public of common household problems and solutions. Yellow? Hey, yeah, thanks for nothing. I called again recently about some kitchen noises, and your people once again sent me bad info. Maybe vet your people better. I'll be going for help elsewhere. Now we're having power outages, so who knows what this thing in our house has got into now. Goodbye. Oh, that must be the one that I got wrong. Uh-oh. Power outages. <clears throat> well, sounds like he's got a bogger. Yeah, so I was not given the option of re-diagnosing the issue, so that must be the one that I got wrong from the previous day. I guess the answer must have been a hob of some kind, which is now metamorphosed. So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. It stinks to high heavens, and something is leaking out of it. I have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Uh, that might be wood secretions. Let's see, wood secretions. Something's leaking out of it. Right, the pink liquid. Um, oh, the kids are curious about the smell. It did say the smell will be interpreted as a sweet candy-like smell to children. So yeah, that's why the kids want to get in there. It's like, this is like liquid starburst to them. Uh, so we're going to have to tell her the, the wood is going to have to be replaced entirely. And then, the, so throw out your desk. You're just going to have to get rid of it entirely, get a new desk, and f from then on... Uh, take good care towards the wood. Do not scratch, knock, or bang on it, or insult, or shout at it. Do not. Good, uh, good idea on her part. Locking the door so the kids can't get in. Otherwise, those kids would have been, uh, ingested. Yellow? someone watching me outside something is moving around in the trees and I can never get a good look at them but I know they're out there I've seen their eyes I don't know who they are but the police were no help they just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you hoping you'll be more helpful sounds like it's probably a spriggan Please hold. Also, last last time I was wondering how much do the police know about this? Because sometimes people say the police told them to call. I guess the cops must know a fair amount about these things since they're asking these questions. Okay, so probably Spriggan. Let's take a look. He says that he sees someone outside in the trees, which is where the Spriggan is. The police asked, did they mow? Did he mow his lawn recently or eat fruit? Well, it says, do not eat any fruit that you grow on your property. Um, did it say anything about mowing the lawn? 
It, it says do not remove trees, flowers, or weeds. Don't kill or hunt wildlife. Um, it doesn't actually specifically mention mowing the lawn, but these other entries, other things he's saying, such as in, in the trees, ate fruit in public. It sounds like this matches uh, the Spriggan. So the solution... Make an offer of water to the humanoid in your trees in a clean dish on your porch. Sorry, sir, you can't actually get rid of the Spriggan. Uh, this is just your life now, unless you want to sell your house. If not, you, be you better get used uh, to your new friend. Keep him happy. Your green friend in the trees. He doesn't know how much danger he's in. We did get a call last time about someone turning into a sprig tree. It's pretty nasty. Uh, hello? My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves the way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? She's happy about, uh, about the current situation. But the brother does not like the way the leaves move or the way they're growing around the house. Well, we just read about these, the autumn vines. They grow over a house, uh, feel dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. Oh, Jay is blissful as hell from the pheromones. So let's see. Doesn't like the way the leaves move. It has orange or red leaves. They grow around the house. Would you tell my brother that the things are good? Well, I can tell your brother about the autumn vines. And I guess he'll have to make a decision on that. It seems like he's not being affected by the pheromones. I don't think she's going to want to do anything about it. Like, you can fix it. You can find the pa Hello? Hi. Do you know how I got here? I'm... I I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, please tell me how to get back to my family. Hmm. Please hold. The curious one. <clears throat> She's not where she should be. She doesn't tell us where she should be. Her family isn't her family. Like, she has a family, but she does not recognize them as being the family. But it's like her family, but it's not the family. Well, we did read about this. Let's look at this. It mentions parallelism. Uh, unwanted household activity, altered behavior, or perceived missing memories in the humans who comes out the other side. Cause confusion. She seems confused. Did she walk through a doorway and she's now not where she should be? She should be somewhere else, but now she's here. And here there is a family, but it's not actually her family. It sounds like it's probably this. I mean, the description of neighbor's doorway is pretty vague, but also what she's saying here is fairly vague. So I'm thinking it's neighbor's doorway. Sounds like that's probably this. Hopefully it is. I mean, what is the solution, though? Um, can she walk back through it? It doesn't say that in solution. 
It doesn't say you she can just go back through and fix it. It just says don't walk through it. But what happens if they already did? Hello? Can't worry about that now. Hi. Yeah, there's this awful smell of rotten eggs coming from my dining room. And when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. <laughs> it's quite big, too, which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house. Because who knows how big this thing is. I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. Ma'am, that sounds like a plate of nutrients. Please hold. You're in luck. Uh, isn't that... Yeah, the feast. The Fey Feast. Okay, let's see. Feasts are mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, various species of fungi. Eating areas of the home. Yeah. Coming from the dining room. Disgusting pile of crap on the dinner table. It's quite big. Let's see. If untouched, they can provoke, provoke more dangerous activity or can attract pests. Ma'am, you need to eat that pile of crap as soon as possible or else you will offend the Fae. It doesn't mention the smell, does it? Well, I mean, I guess you can imagine what a pile of flour, cornmeal, and fungi is going to smell like. It's probably not going to smell very good. Um... It's gotta be that. It's gotta be. Ma'am? Hope you're hungry! I mean, it could be worse. Like, so, I mean, you could get some- some of these other things in here would be worse. Hello? They're itchy. They have nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. Please hold. So, okay. I mean, one thing that makes me think itchy was uh, bed teeth, which is going to make you itchy, but like that doesn't cause nightmares, does it? It can always be the bed hag. Does the hag cause nightmares or itchiness? No, it says that you would uh, have a shortness of breath or sleep paralysis. But that's not what they're talking about here. Could it just be regular bed bugs? I mean, that they'll make you itchy. Oh, they have a resistance to common pesticides. Is it just ordinary bed bugs? I've been spraying about 50 kinds of pesticides all over the place. Wash and scrub the bed sheets. The kids are itchy. Waking up at 4 a.m. They have nightmares? But I mean, that doesn't... They might just have nightmares because they're being bitten by bed bugs. It doesn't necessarily mean the supernatural. Also, bed bugs are very difficult to get rid of. You need to call in professionals. So the dad just trying it, to do it himself is probably not going to get it done. Um, this, I feel like it might be it because it mentions the pesticides. Is there any, let me just do a quick, quick thing here. Anything else that might cause itchiness and nightmares? Just quickly scroll down. What does the Dreamweaver do again? Dream about everything being covered in webs. Anxiety. So this can cause 
dreams, but what about the itchiness? Doesn't seem... I, I don't... Doesn't mention itchiness. Doesn't mention that. The Night Gnome just watches you. It doesn't do anything. The Night Wisp, again, just kind of hangs out oh, uh, outside your window and whispers promises. I'm feeling like it's bed bugs. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like the game is just throwing us a curveball. We have all of we have everything unlocked, but it's gonna just go back to normal old bed bugs. I feel like that's what's happening here. We're gonna go with bed bugs. Well, hopefully we we were able to give him the right information, and so he can call in the professionals. Hello. Okay, called last week, asked why the home heater is having issues. Nothing's changed after following the instructions. The baby is crying. It's cold. Please hold. Hmm. What is breaking the heater? And why would, uh, why would the inst So some of these pi some of these pipes- Pipe? It could be frozen pipes. I don't think it's frozen pipes. Some of these... Calls. Some of them have... A, po a part where it mentions that they already called. And they got the instructions and they're still having the problem. So, in those cases, we might assume that they were diagnosed correctly, and just for some reason, whatever they have is still happening despite following the instructions. Let's see, what might be breaking the heater? We know the bog art does... it can do that. But it's not mentioning the heater specifically. What does Dorcha do again? Now, Dorcha is about feeling a dreadful feeling of being followed. It's pro I, doubt, I doubt it's Dorcha. So it's still cold. Could be frozen pipes. But... Nah. nah I doubt it. The leprechaun. The leprechaun eats metal. It can cause damage to heaters. So he said nothing changed after following the instructions. The instructions said that leprechauns will move to other feeding grounds on their own, but more proactive means uh, of removal require physical capture. Maybe he didn't do anything because he just wanted uh, 
the leprechaun to leave on its own. Oh, it also mentions, I know your teeth hurt. It also mentions that leprechauns can eat the metal in braces, crowns, or joint replacements. So maybe the kid's teeth hurt because the leprechaun ate the metal out of something in some sort of dental uh, appliance like braces. Could be. And it sounds like it's probably... Probably Leprechaun. Alright, just, just call pest control. Just call the pest control services. Um, best thing you can do right now. And then you're going to have to call like an actual repairman for the heater. Hello? Wife's clothes going missing. Whoopee cushion sound from outside. Please hold. It's just the wife's clothes. Something is stealing the clothes. A whoopee cushion sound coming from outside. Hmm. I'm trying to think of seeing of something that could. Seal, something that could steal the clothes. And we did just read about that. We did, did we just, it was the troll that could steal your clothes. I mean, look, there's, there's some lady clothes right there. Missing clothes. Oh yeah, hear the sound of air escaping in the middle of the night. Okay, so both things, both things are identified here. So we're going to tell him, install repelling fixtures such as UV lights. Like, turning the porch lights on are not going to do it. You need ultraviolet lights uh, to, to make sure it doesn't come back. There we go. I would like to see the actual information that these people are sent because Carol did say that they only send them the the information that they need to know to address the problem. So they're not getting an information packet talking about a troll. They're getting an information packet talking about that you need to install UV lights. Um, I would like to see the version of the information that they're actually receiving. They're not. They're not getting the secret stuff that we have. Hello. Hello. I saw your commercial, and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Okay. Putting the kettle on, a buzzing sound from the cupboard. Couldn't find anything but loose tea leaves. She's allergic to stings. Her hearing is not great. Well, there is a tea sprite. Uh-oh, network error. Network's down. This happens once in a while, so we can't actually look up the information. But it's gotta be the tea sprite. It's, it's like a, a little thing that flies around. It's buzzing. It was in the tea. And that just has to be what it is. 
And if I remember right, the only answer is that you gotta you gotta make sure you do not drink from those cups because it could pass on Fey flu. Get rid of the cups. And once you get Fey flu, nothing you can do about that. HSH really does have to do something about these network outages, though. I'm trying to do my job as, as best as I can. But I can only do so much without the, my valuable catalog here. It's an odd sound. Hi, we need some medical help. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Okay. They, both of them started feeling shortness of breath around the, around the same time while they're sleeping. Kids all have asthma and allergies. We did read about the bed hag. Network is still down. That's the first time it's been down for two calls in a row. But it's got to be bed hag. Bed hag is going to make you have trouble breathing while you're asleep. We just have to go on what we can remember. I would like to oh, oh, I would like to confirm my answers, but obviously I can't right now. Hello. So uh, I've been hearing this weird sound coming from the walls. Not exactly sure what it is, but I've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound. Can you hear that? It's been on stop lately. I've replaced all of my smoke detector batteries and everything. I cannot figure out where the sound is coming from. And those the mushrooms. Please hold. Are they are they singing in unison? The whistling. Okay, it's back. Dissonant whistling sound coming from their walls. If you ever hear them singing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Um Well, let's see. If it's not too late, you could call the fungal remo removal services. Uh, but if it is too late, uh, ma'am, you have to leave your house and never return. It's a tough break. And no, my informational packet will not tell you why. You're, you're going to have to take it on faith that this is what you need to do. Probably got some open cracks in that home. Which could also be a sign of a, of a fracture hob. Hello? Um, hello? Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. 
I can hardly blame him. It, it smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Oh no, not Meatball. Please hold. Okay, terrible smell in the house. Cannot figure out where it's coming from. Upsetting the dog. It smells so rotten. Um, let's see. Something that's gonna smell real bad and is gonna make the dog anxious. Well, there's the cellar grotto, which smells like a sewer. But I don't see why the... It doesn't mention anything about the, um... Doesn't mention anything about the... Oh, wait, hold on. The dog is acting up. Right, the dog is acting weird. Right. That was, uh, that was Puka, wasn't it? Right, so... Meatball's acting weird. There's a weird, there's a bad smell somewhere. That's because Puka, the Puka has killed Meatball and discarded the body uh, somewhere, and now it's rotting. I'm sorry, ma'am. But that is not, that is not Meatball. That is not your dog. Uh, you, do not pay attention to the thing that looks like your dog, ma'am. Sorry. Yeah, my, my diagnosis is ignore your dog and also look around for the dead, rotting corpse of your dog. Hello? Well, I, that face kind of looks like the uh, the prank caller that we sometimes get, but uh, only hear some squeaking. Oh, my shift sent. Hey, one hundred percent accuracy. We are so good at this job. Well, Saturday's over. And, uh, well, I guess it's, it's a good time to take a little break. Um, as we are heading into Sunday, man, our first week on the job, almost done. Oh, hey, our desktop has changed a little bit. The, the desktop friend is not there. Now there's like a, like a hole in this field. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Um, I mean, I know I'm feeling fine because I've been able to help so many people. Help people out with things like you have a bed hag or your dog is not actually your dog. Um, we're going to go on to Sunday and complete our first week on the job in Home Safety Hotline. Feeling pretty good about it. 